Humans used to drink mercury, liquid metal, the shiny stuff in thermometers, yeah. They were sipping that poison like it was Gatorade. Doctors in the 1800s, feeling sad? Here's some mercury. Got a cold? Mercury. Broke your leg in 12 places? You guessed it, mercury. And this wasn't just a few unhinged quacks in a cave. This was mainstream medicine. They called it Quicksilver because dying needed a brand name. Even Isaac Newton went full metal alchemist and exposed himself to mercury while studying science. Guy literally vaporized his own sanity for research. Some historians think it made him go low-key mad. Thanks, science. An alchemist? Oh, they were obsessed. They thought mercury was the key to immortality. Plot twist? It was the fast track to organ failure. Introducing calomel. Mercury for all your problems, including the ones you didn't have yet. Side effects, hallucinations, memory loss, death. But hey, vibes were immaculate. Fast forward, we figured out mercury is actually super toxic, like melt your organs from the inside toxic. And we all collectively said, oops, my bad. Then kept putting it in hats. Fun fact, that's where mad as a hatter comes from. Mercury and hat making made workers go bonkers. So yeah, we drank mercury. We rubbed it on our skin. We even gave it to kids. Humans? Built different, but in a really bad way. Like, subscribe and stay away from shiny liquids, kings and queens.